We were here today in wonderful Worksworth in the Peak District to demonstrate our autonomous inspection vehicle that's been kindly brought together by Network Rail, Cranfield University, Bants and Sperry Rail. There will always be track on the railway that is not testable using a high-speed train and that's exactly where this type of application solves that problem. What we've done is put together a proprietary vehicle is then driving to the test site, signalling to the Sperry equipment that it's going to pick up some features in, in the rails which are simulated faults. It's capable of uh, detecting the small cracks on the railway using artificial intelligence. It's not something that you can visually check. You need equipment, you need the right technology to find it. We've completely intervened in his drives so that uh, now he's under automatic control. He's removing the need for us to send people on the ground essentially removing boots off ballast to do that verification process. So for the purposes of our test today, the area where the suspected faults are are indicated by a yellow cone. Further down the rail, there is a blue cone where the data is uploaded to the cloud. We've got Bantz who have brought in the trolley element. Cranfield have then added some automation capability on top of that to allow the trolley itself to move independently. And then Sperry have introduced their ultrasonic test equipment and their roller search units that ultimately look for the flaws and the defects. So we've brought all that together and enabled the automation process. It comes with a LiDAR instrument, which is capable of detecting obstacles comes with a GPS to be able to locate itself on the railways. Also comes with what we call an e-stop, which is an emergency stop that's operated remotely. The people that we have working on this project are a team of uh, permanent research professionals augmented by some of our doctoral students at Cranfield University. It's been quite incredible. We've had a series of tests along the rail track, and right now we've got some feedbacks from Sperry, how well we've been picking up data along the rail track. Today went very well. We have done almost 10 times successful tests. So we collected enough data. The data was uploaded to the cloud server. We'll do further analysis. I feel great working as a member in this team. The testing has gone fantastic today. We've been able to demonstrate the full autonomous movement of the vehicle. It's run over the site independently without any intervention. So far, so good. We hope that the future of robotics is going to automate further some of the tough, risky jobs on the railway where people are exposed to hazards and to upskill those people and to really develop the UK applications of robotics and autonomous systems. We as Network Rail and the rail industry have got an aspiration to move towards more autonomous inspection and maintenance in the future and this is an initial demonstrator for us to prove to people that it can be, can be achieved. Mm -hmm.